Hi, we're here on my new 1965 Alberg 30. I uh, recently purchased it. Very excited to get it going. Um, today I'm going to attempt to clean the hole, which I've never done that, so we'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully I'll get some good underwater footage of that fun time. Um, I'll do a boat tour soon and show you every aspect of what it looks like right now, and then we'll go through as I refit and uh, have footage of, of each different section. I'll be replacing the the main halyard and the jib halyard and the main sheet soon, so I'll make video of that as well. So here we go. Have to go under. Try to get this done. Really hard to work. I'm trying to get as much as I can, but I keep floating under the dock. So it's pretty wild uh, how thick the growth is. So uh, back to it. He lost the tool. I 
lost the tool. I gotta find it. This will be the worst one. After I, if I get this initial growth off, um, it'll be a lot easier to keep up. But um, yeah, it's hard. Hardest part's like staying underwater. I always wanted to float to the top under the dock or smashing it on the boat. So uh, I'm gonna get a suction cup, help maneuver myself. Had a productive day today. Got about half the hole scraped. Um, was a, a, a learning experience for sure. Difficult to stay underwater. And uh, I'm gonna get a suction cup to try to help brace myself against the hole. Um, the hole looked like it's in really good shape from what I can see. Definitely need a bottom job. So get that done probably this fall. Um, and uh, the propeller looked like it lived in a forest, so gotta get to that. Got, got most of it uh, scraped up, but uh, all that remains is a little bit of the side. I got most of what I could reach, and uh, then the bottom of the, the keel I'll have to get to. So next time I'll, I'll get that done. Uh, I did lose my scraper, dropped and fell to the bottom of the sea, but after several attempts I was able to go down and, and retrieve it. So. Uh, lesson learned, I'll have to tie a better uh, knot around my wrist next time. It's my little brother Colby, about to go in the water and uh, get the bottom done. The right way. He likes it. Tropical, nice. tropical <laughs> environments of New Marks Marina. He done well.
Right off. Yeah, so. I mean, if I could go down and get like low coast, you thought you'd want. We got the bottom finished. Little brother Colby came, the scuba gear made it so much easier. We double timed it, I did as much as I could, and he got the rest for me. It's all done. Boy, that stuff grows back fast with the old paint job, so. We had a very productive day yesterday. Uh, my little brother came down from 29 Palms with the scuba gear, and uh, we were able to get underneath and finish the bottom. So that, that was awesome, it was so much easier. I had ordered a weight belt um, and like a suction cup handle, and uh, that made it possible for me to do a lot more. So we, I did everything I could get to, and then he got the entire lower part of the keel and underneath, and we knocked it out in under an hour, which was much easier than last time. I tried to do it by myself, just with snorkel gear, and it was the first time. And the bottom hadn't been cleaned in six years, so it was a considerable, considerable amount of growth uh, that you can see on the video clips. Um, so that was great. I also finished getting the first coat of enamel paint on the V-Birth. It's looking good. Uh, I'll throw another coat on next weekend. Today is a Monday. I have the day off. Um, to start taking everything off the engine, get ready to pull the engine. So we'll see, hopefully that goes well and uh, we can move forward. Get that thing out, get the engine bay scraped, degreased and painted, and then I can put in my new engine. So moving forward, getting a lot done, uh, very excited. So uh, I'm gonna make some videos today of uh, me in the engine well, taking everything out and uh, we'll see how it goes. On the next episode, you'll see the great fuel tank battle of 2017. My fuel tank was stuck inside my starboard lazarette and would not come out. Watch me as I fight my way through to figure out how to get it free. Hopefully that's enough. <laughs> thanks for watching, and thanks for all your comments, and until next time. I'm really floaty. <laughs>